In this video, we will check the electrical conductivity of some objects. Okay, as you can see over here, this is a circuit. I've connected the batteries together with the crocodile clip wires and I'm using a bulb holder to hold my bulb. Okay, so in between this, I will put the object such that to check whether are they conductors of electricity. So if it's a conductor of electricity, it will form a closed circuit like this. Okay, and the bulb will bright. The bulb will light up. If it's not a conductor of electricity, it will not light up, just like this. Okay, so let's begin. Alright, so if you take a look, our very first object is the eraser. Okay, the, the eraser. So the eraser, as you will know, is made of rubber. So would rubber be a conductor of electricity? Let's find out. Okay, I shall put the eraser in between the two crocodile clips. So did the bulb light up? No, it didn't. Okay, so the eraser, which is made of rubber, so rubber, the material, is not a conductor of electricity. Now, next up, let's take a look at the metallic pencil case zip. Okay, over here, I have the metallic pencil case zip. This is metallic pencil case. Okay, so metallic pencil case zip, so it's made of metal. All right, so let's find out whether this metallic pencil case zip is a conductor of electricity or not. So I'll position my metallic pencil case zip over here and one end of the clip, I'll clip it here. The other end, I shall clip at the same zip and we'll see. It lights up. So from here, we can say that the metallic pencil case zip is a conductor of electricity. Metal is a conductor of electricity. Okay, next, we'll take a look at the plastic spectacle rim. Alright, this is my other spectacles. So we'll take a look. The rim, this is the rim, alright? So the rim, is it a conductor of electricity or not? So I shall clip one end of the crocodile clip and the other end at the same rim okay to see so the electricity was electricity able to flow through no because the bulb didn't light up no electricity is flowing through this plastic rim here made of plastic is a it's not a conductor of electricity okay this plastic rim is not a conductor of electricity okay, I shall unclip this Following which, let's take a look at the shirt. Alright, this is my shirt here. So I'll clip, I'll take maybe the one end of the shirt. Okay, the end of the shirt here. I'll use this. So shirt, as you can see, what's the material? Fabric. Okay, so let's take a look whether fabric is a conductor of electricity or not. Okay, so I'll clip onto one end and clip onto the other end. So let's take a look. So as you can see, the light bulb didn't light up. So fabric is not a conductor of electricity. All right, so now let's take a look at the next object, which will be the book. Okay, this big book of Sudoku. Okay, let's take a look at the book. So the book, okay, the book is made of Paper, okay, paper. So I shall use one page of the book to find out whether is paper a conductor of electricity or not. Okay, I hope you have predicted whether paper is a conductor of electricity or not. Okay, so let's find out. Okay, as usual, I'll clip one of my crocodile clips to one end of the page and the other to at the other end of the page. So let's take a look. Okay, the light bulb did not light up. Okay, so it's actually a non-conductor of electricity. 
it is not a conductor of electricity. Okay? Okay, let us find out whether the metallic table leg is it a conductor of electricity. So over here, this is a table. So this is a leg over here. Okay, we'll figure out whether the metallic table leg is a conductor of electricity or not. All right, so I'll clip this over here. Okay. All right, then I'll clip the other one at the other end over here. All right, so if you notice, okay, the clip isn't connected directly to one another. All right, it's through the metal table leg that the bulb lights up. All right, so we can say that this metallic table leg, which is made of metal, okay, it's a conductor of electricity.